Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you a lesser known but incredibly useful analysis in Microsoft Excel. Markov analysis is a method used to forecast a variable whose predicted value is influenced only by its current state. That's quite a mouthful, but essentially, this analysis allows you to predict the future based on a set of probabilities. To better illustrate this, let's take a look at three brands, A, B, and C. They currently have 100, 20, and 5 customers respectively. In this table on the left, we can see a table of probabilities representing the tendencies of customers to switch from one brand to another after one year. For example, the probability of a brand A customer staying with brand A is 60%, meaning 60% of the time, customers of brand A will be loyal. The probability of a brand A customer moving to brand B, however, is only 15% meaning 15% of the time your customers will be switching to brand B next year. Finally, we have a 25% probability that brand A customers will move to brand C. One thing to take note of, this probability should always equal to 100% because we're assuming that there are only three brands in the market and this covers all the possible outcomes for brand A. The same goes with the two other brands, meaning the total probability should always equal to 100%. Now that we have our initial values and our probabilities, let's see what our customer breakdown will be after one year. So um, we're going to make use of a formula here. I'm going to type mmult. This means matrix multiplication, but I won't be explaining that anymore in this video. I guess uh, feel free to go back to your algebra notes after this or research other videos in YouTube, which might help. But basically what we're doing is we're going to multiply these two tables. So what I'm going to do next is to highlight the probability values and then lock it using F4. So I just pressed F4 to um, lock those values. And then for the next argument, I'm going to select the initial values. No need to lock this one. Close parenthesis and then press enter. Here we see in year one that brand A lost quite a lot of its customers in comparison to B and C, which both increased. I'm just going to place a total here so that we can see the sum of the customers are unchanged every year. Now let's take it a step further and see what happens after 10 years considering that these probabilities remain constant. All I have to do is to highlight these values and drag them all the way to the right. And there we go. Uh, we can see that by year 10, brand A almost lost all of its customers, while brand C now dominates the market. Why do you think that happened? Let's pay attention to these three values over here. Let me um, emphasize them better using bold font. These values actually represent each brand's retention rate, meaning their capability to uh, retain customers and to prevent them from switching to other brands. As we can see, brand A retains only 60% of its customers year on year, while brand C retains 95%. Meaning, although brand C started out only with a few customers, it's able to retain most of them that transfer to it. Unlike brand A, that's like a container that has a lot of water at the start, but then it also has a lot of leakages. How about brand B? It has a pretty high retention rate of 80%, meaning it didn't lose significant market share over 10 years. So as we can see here from year zero, it has 20, and then by year 10, it has 17, which 
isn't really a huge decrease. But the thing is, it didn't grow either because as we can see in this row, very few customers switch to brand B from other brands. In fact, uh, buyers of brand C will never switch to brand B based on this 0% probability. Just one important thing to remember, in real life, it's possible that these probabilities won't remain the same year on year. So what you can do is simply come up with a new probability table and then use that for later years. Just make sure to adjust the formulas accordingly. In a nutshell, Markov analysis is a simple but powerful tool you can use in forecasting, market sizing, customer retention strategies, and anything similar to those. I hope you learned a lot in this video and see you next time.